Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Count Bovell. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. I hope helping us doesn't endanger you. Hardly. Even a brush with someone as well known as yourself can become a great asset in Balroyo. Giving you the identity of those who murdered Lady Montilly's messengers seemed the least I could do. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archives. Contract for a life. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. They're not just after your messengers, Josephine. They'll try for you, too. I... I am afraid so, yes. The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montelliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Our legion businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, Your Worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary, by its standards. I'll do what I can to stop these attacks, Josephine. Thank you, Inquisitor. I think I may know how. The Du Paraquettes still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a Du Paraquet could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montilier. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to haunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. Or not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is Orle. Even an assassin's word is his bond. Does Count Boisvert actually exist? Absolutely. The Count's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilly's messengers was genuine. So was his information somehow. A nun to be tied up later. I thought you were remarkably well informed about a secret assassin's guild. Uh, we are hardly secret, my dear Inquisitor, just normally much more reclusive. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, Monsieur. Your idea to seek out the Duparaquette to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the Guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, my lady. May we conclude with my departure? Go, then. Good day, Your Worship. My lady, I pray we'll never meet again. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyhold. I'll feel safer with the castle's walls around me. Do you hear something? Mm. Oh, goodness. Uh, 
Comte Poivre, is that you? <gasps> oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Mm. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely... A... locksmith, then? Mm. Mm. As you wish. <laughs>